Um, I may get interrupted, but that's just part of finance. Um, I'm going to pull this free. Okay, so we're on Sylvan Street, and this is also known as Fort Worth Street. So we're in Dallas, but that's Fort Worth Street in Dallas, and Dallas is straight ahead. So you're going to see a big bridge. Both bridges were created by an Italian designer, and Hunt Hill, the last name Hunt Hill, she's a philanthropist, therapist and a very wealthy lady um, uh, called for both these bridges so both bridges are designed are, are uh, designed by an Italian um, architect and also uh, all the workers on these two bridges that we're coming close to if you can see them in the very distance were all Italian we'll probably get interrupted here in just a moment um, but I'm gonna see how close I can get to them and you'll see them on the horizon so he called for only Italian workers to work on this bridge. Um, it, I guess it's almost kind of like a gift from, from Italy. And it's interesting about this bridge too because uh, I did a play called uh, A View from a Bridge. And uh, Adolfo, who was a great director, uh, still is a great director, uh, uh, he directed the play and he chose to use these bridges, these well, I think one of the bridges, or maybe even two. I think I know for sure one of the sh the bridges uh, were uh, in the actual program of, of the play and a poster for the play too, because uh, we also use this, like a suspension bridge theme uh, when we did a view from the bridge, which was written by Arthur Miller, a very important play. Uh, but I found out some history about these bridges, and it's very interesting because they were designed uh, by an Italian architect. And Italian uh, workers actually were employed uh, to to own. They were they were employed to be the only ones to work and handle the construction of that bridge. So it is kind of a gift from from Italy, uh, and I think that's a really cool thing because they have great Italian food here uh, in Dallas. I worked at a restaurant called Porta de Rama, which is off of Main Street, right next to Neiman Marcus. And that is a very good Italian restaurant. Um, they are uh, both the, the cooks there and the owners are from Italy, and they also cook too. Demi is one of them. If you're watching this, Demi, hey, how you doing? Um, so here is uh, Dallas. So we've got the Reunion Tower. We've got the Green Building or the Bank Building or whatever you want to call it. And then we've got the train passing here, and then right behind it we have that Italian structured bridge that was uh, produced financially by Hill Hunt. Uh, I believe her maiden name is Hunt. I think she, I think it goes by Hunt Hill. Sorry. So her, her maiden name is Hunt, but her last name is Hill. So they call it the Hill Bridge. I call it the Hunt Bridge. I don't know. I don't know why. I just go by her maiden name. Um, I think it was because my dad told me that it was Miss Hunt who designed that or not design the bridge, but she funded, she gave the money up so that the bridge could be here. Um, I'm hoping I can get close to it without any type of interruption. There's also a, uh, a really good spot. Uh, I believe it's called the Trinity uh, Obser Obser Observatory or the Trinity uh, Park which is on, I think it's called Trinity Park or something like that. But anyway, it's, it's an area at the base of this bridge that you can take photos of Dallas. At. We'll be coming across that somewhere around in this area between one of the two of these bridges. It's a great place to get the skyline. So we're coming across the bridge, which looks like a suspension bridge. But these are actually very thick poles. So they're not actual wires. Uh, they may be, have, be wires on the inside, but they're actual poles. Uh, possibly be maybe protecting the wires and it goes up very high it's very artsy uh, I guess it's very Italian and then right next door we have the like almost like a st. Louis kind of looking bridge and both both of those were produced by uh, uh, Hunt Hill is her last name she's a philanthropist um, I believe she is from the Dallas area or she has a big connection with Dallas and now we're coming up to the skyline of Dallas right here. So I drive by that bridge, and if you follow my channel, I do come across, there's a Reunion Tower, the bridge and the Reunion Tower quite often. I'll, I'll go back 
uh, across those very often. And usually I'll, I will take an exit off of Pearl Street. And I think, okay, I don't think I'm gonna get any interruptions right now. I must have, okay, I must have turned off my app. So we're gonna be able to go through Pearl Bridge. All right, and that is one of the big towers there. And then they're coming up with a brand new building right next to the building with the clef in it, which is, the, there it is right there. So this is the brand new building in Dallas off of Munger Street. I'm calling it the Munger uh, Street Bridge. You can see it's not completed yet, but it's close. Uh, they've got most of the glass uh, uh, structured and uh, placed on the building. So they have designed what the building is going to look like and the type of glass. And that is the Munger building because it ends on Munger Street. So it's a brand new building. There's the building that looks like a computer. So we're going on Pearl Street right here. And I'm going to whip around uh, out Pearl Street and then cut off. But I wanted to go through that because if you follow my channel, you will see uh, many passes of the Hunt Hill Bridge. Uh, I don't know what they're calling it. Um, it's uh, nearly modern art. Um, oh my goodness, they've got two buildings and here's some more buildings they're constructing right here. So Dallas is growing rapidly fast. We've got some buildings here and a building on the side, which that may be the Munger one. That is the Munger one. Okay, so there's another building that's being constructed or almost constructed. I don't think that one actually is the Munger building. That may be a different one. I don't even know what name they're gonna use on that building right here. That's straight ahead through this net. Uh, this guard for the for the um, uh, through, for cars, you can't see it right here. So there's two new buildings being constructed right now. One of them is the Munger Building. It's almost finished. And we're going straight down this way. We're gonna hit Wad, uh, Woodall Rogers. We're gonna pass Warren Park. Uh, that's Warren Park right there. Um, we're by the Nasher Sculpture Center. So this is the National. Nasher, I'm sorry, Nasher Sculpture Center. And we're headed one way on Woodall Rogers. And it looks like these are a lot of buildings right here. Um, so there's a main park, which is Warren Park right here, which leads to a very nice glass restaurant um, by Paris uh, Restaurant, which is a steakhouse that's beginning to, uh, getting ready to move. And we're gonna usually cut off at Pearl before we and get into Deep Ellum. There's a nice little building right there too. So that's the very edge of uh, what a lot of people call the Woodall, Woodall Park or what people call Warren Park. Um, and we're passing the AT&T Performing Arts. Just right there. All right. Well, I wanted to go through that little pass there. That'll be a popular pass on my page. I'll get more information about the buildings, the new buildings being constructed. I'll also uh, get more information about the bridges and the stories behind the bridges. I do want to associate that bridge with the play that was done in Fort Worth uh, by Adolphus, or I'm sorry, Adolfo, uh, the director, uh, and uh, written by Arthur Miller, uh, View from a Bridge. And we did use that for many of the posters um, of that bridge. So that bridge is uh, coming down I mean, I mean, going down in, in history is what I meant to say. Coming down in history. I mean, going down in history, meaning a bridge is starting to form many stories. And it's it's getting old, older as every day passes. And eventually there will be many stories tied to that bridge. So it's going to be interesting uh, to see all these different stories tied to the uh, Hill Hunt Bridge. Um, probably someone could even write their th a thesis on it uh, right now. It's It's getting older. It's been there for a while. Uh, one of the stories I wanted to document is that we did a play and we used it uh, to represent the Brooklyn Bridge in a View from a Bridge, or View, a View from a Bridge uh, by Arthur Miller, which we did at um, Artist La Rosa at the Marine Theater in Fort Worth. Um, but I pass by that bridge a lot and I think about all the players and actors that were in that wonderful play. I played um, Tony, one of the gangsters. You can see by my unorthodox act my unorthodox actions. Um, I was the one that said uh, it's ground level right here. 
or something like that. But anyway, the play is um, is a great play, A View from a Bridge. But that bridge is is wonderful. Um, and then there's downtown. <laughs>